Why, hello, we are back. You are here with your host, Lord Fishy. And we are going to make some new stuff today. I have got a request finally. Come from Discord again. And we have a request to make housing parts. Parts that can be pieced together, like building, I guess, cabins type thing. Alright, well, um couple important things before we start, like always, excuse me, we're going to go to local, and we're just going to size this because we intend to show this person how to import it to Unreal eventually, and we're going to do our import video this weekend with our special guest, so if you're watching, be excited, the queen herself will be doing an import video. Alright, so we'll go over here to scale and 0 0.1. And if you don't know who the queen is, I mean Queen Fish from Queen Fish Games. She's the head programmer and president of Queen Fish Games. And somebody I admire very, very much. Alright, let's get started. So. We have one block. We have it exactly in the middle. So maybe we will start by making a foundation cradle. Mm, no. Okay, you know what? Let's start making boards. We'll start making a floor. And then we will make a cradle for it after. Because we're going to need to know what it looks like first, right? So we're going to use S to drag it out to keep it all nice and even. If you want, you can try to match the grid behind it, like so little bit off. Once you reach one way about the right way it should be evenly spaced. So you've got a decent size floor. Thin this out right a little bit. Maybe we'll do two different styles depending what you're going for. I'll do like a house floor, like a proper house floor. And I don't know how many videos this is gonna go. We're gonna have to just wing it because uh, again I've never done this. I just think off the top of my head and kind of go with it, so be patient and I'll let you know by the end of the video if it's going to be a series and we'll see how far we get. So, first style of flooring first, we'll do a solid floor. So we're going to shift A, make a second block, and we're going to shrink it down, put it just underneath, and then we're going to shape it a little bit once we get it where we want it. And then we're going to use a little trickery to uh, match it on either side. So, if you are laying on flat ground, you might just want to do your floor. But most houses, you're pretty much you're going to want to keep a little gap off the ground. If you're letting people place their own houses to keep grass and foliage from coming through the floor. It's kind of a preference, so if you want to do it a different way, that's completely okay with me. I'm just telling you what I think. Alright, so we're going to take this one, make sure, maybe bump it a little more evenly towards the corner. Try to get it in the corner as evenly as you can with little to zero overhang. There we go, I think that's pretty good. I'm just going to do it quick because I'm showing you guys and I don't want to take forever in my video. I've already had a few comments about how I take too long. <laughs> All right, and so we'll try to be as quick as possible. All right, Shift D, we're going to copy that, and we're going to add a zero here, sorry, a minus, to get one on the other side. And then we're going to Shift D there, and we're going to hit zero. Sorry, why do I keep saying zero? Minus. Oh, we didn't copy it first. Shift D, Shift D, why is that not working? Hang on a second, there, no, why didn't that work? It's not copying for a second, just give me one, oh yeah, it did work. Alright, well let's move that back and we'll go ahead and hit take the minus out because we accidentally took the piece out there. Here we are going fast, right? There we go. One, two, three, four. 
Just going to make sure there's no extras where we were making them. And I just right click to let go of the piece for it'll go back exactly where it was and just don't. And this is why. Make sure I hit it a bunch of times. Yeah, I did copy it every time. Alright, so we have our basic floor. We have a basic floor shape. Looks good. Alright, so this could be your floor. You can thicken it. You can change it up a little bit. <coughs> um, what we are going to do is this. We'll highlight the top piece and then this corner last. And we will sh Shift D. We will wind that over here and we will hit Control J. Now that is one piece for when you're building your cabin or house or whatever, you can just snap it out in one piece. And there's your floors. Keep your houses off the ground but nice and even. Maybe you have a different vision. Just pause the video while you adjust yours in the way you want to. But we're going to quickly make a second type of floor. I'm going to wind this back in, and it should be perfectly in the middle. And then we're going to hit Shift-D. Take this piece, we're going to wind it out a little bit, just to give us a little crack. Shift-D. Again. Shift-D. And you get the idea. We're going to have to separate the gaps a little bit to make this work. Something like that, right? So now we're going to work in reverse. We're going to shift D. And we're going to take this one up here. And we're going to take the minus off of it. We're going to shift D. And again, why we're doing this, take the minus off of it, is because it keeps the math perfectly the same on either side. So when you're building these things, they're going to match up. And this is going to be important to be symmetrical, especially when you're trying to snap a house pieces together. So we're going to take the mine. Oh, did I re-repeat this one first? Let's check. We're just going to lift it. No, I didn't. Shift D. Got distracted talking. It's going to become a very important when you're trying to piece your house together that it's actually symmetrical and it's going to fit together. But look, it looks pretty perfect to me. You might see some issues, but I don't. Alright, and this could be your floor too if you want this to be a cabin type floor where it's just kind of more poor shabby conditions. And one more trick we can do, we can take this middle one, copy it, spin it, no, that's not going to do it, so we'll just change that back to zero, this one to 90, that is also not going to do it, and this one has to do it. Alright, and then we will just wind it down. And as you can see, it fits pretty perfectly underneath. So we're just going to take this over here. This would be a cross member to hold our floor together, right? It gives it more of a detailed look, if that's what you're going for. Again, if it's a survival game, this is probably something along the likes of what you're going to want. So we're just going to have to figure out where this piece is going. And that was not it. So we're going to add the minus back to that. And then we're going to add a minus to this one. And it should... Oh my god. I forgot to copy it for a shift D. And then I'll take out the minus again. I get talking and I forget things. Oh, there was one there, wasn't there? Yeah, there was. Let's just make sure I haven't made too many extras. Nope. Okay, we're good now. Alright. So, we have a second type of floor. Now, so you're making a game that you need many types of floors. Well, maybe this is going to be the way you're going to do it, right? You can, you know, still make a third type. Maybe do a tile on the third one. And then you have three different qualities of building and that's going to make your game a lot better in general I believe alright now let's do some other things alright so 
first things first, I'm going to join these and lead it all the way to one side, which is going to be our control point. There's a reason I didn't attach the legs yet. I'm going to shift D. So I got the whole thing now because it's all one. And we are going to hit the 90 here. Now, depending which ways you want your walls, if you're making a cabin wall, we can make this your new wall piece. If you want a solid wall, we can use the other one to do it, or we can just make a new piece. And if you're trying to make a window cell, maybe, maybe that's something you need in your game. There's a couple different ways we can do this, or a doorway. So let's shift D again for our example. Roll it over this way. Don't know which one it's going to be, so we'll try that one. Yeah, that'll do it. So we got one facing a different direction now. We'll do this one as our window piece. And we should overlap just on the corners there, and it should make a perfect square, essentially, because it's the same piece used over and over. But we want to make a window. So we're going to take a square, wind it up, shrink it down a little bit for you miss your beams there. Put it in a spot. Let's put it in between these. And I don't know what's going to come out, so bear with me if it's not great. I'm just trying to make it with you guys. I haven't made this before. I haven't practiced like everybody else, and I'm not editing out my mistakes. I feel like it's important that we show everybody it's okay to make mistakes as long as you fix them. All right, we'll move this down just a hair more, and we're going to see what happens. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, I'm nervous. All right, bool difference. And you know what? I really like that. It looks pretty good. And why did we copy the square, you say? Well, because we're going to make a window out of this. So let's wind her in. And remember, making things is only limited to your imagination. So whatever you want to make, you're going to be able to as long as you believe in yourself and don't give up. When people tell you there's no way, find a way. Easy for me to say, right? Well, remember, I'm only a couple months into this blender thing too. Not that I'm too amazing at it, obviously, but I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Like I've learned so much, I just want to teach others. I want to give you guys a hand and show you how to do the things I'm doing. Because when new people make games, we get new games that no one's ever thought of. New aspects, new ways to play them. Alright, so what do I did? I just copied the block a few more times there, as you've seen, and just moved it into the shape of what I'm going to make my window. I'm going to use these to bool holes in there to make like a window frame type thing. So, we're just going to highlight this one, this one, hit shift D again, and drag them out, because those are going to be our windows after. Always make blocks to replace what you're going to take out, and always make a du duplicate, and that way, when you minus the hole, you have a perfectly shaped piece. You just need to make its thin thickness different possibly. So with both those highlighted, we'll highlight the third window cell. We'll go up to object and bool. Difference. We have our windows. And we'll take these, thin them out a little bit. We'll go again because it'll flip eventually. It's pretty darn thin. So we got two choices how we can do this. We can make both sides transparent, make a two-sided glass, or we can take one of the faces out and just make one of the faces transparent. I'm going to go choose the latter. I'm going to take one of the one of the two faces out on both. Because it was a square we started with, it shouldn't be a big deal. We'll highlight both. Come over here, we'll hit faces, one, two, delete the faces. And now we only have one pane.
main window. So once we make this translucent, you can literally see out your windows. Perfect. Great. Good work. We have windows for our cabin. Now if you're doing the solid walls, the same the same lesson applies. So if you weren't following, make make your solid piece wall like we made these ones. Flip it up, get it all in place and flip the video back and you're going to be fine following the same set of instructions. Probably look a little cleaner in the other window, but I really like the look of this. I think this gives a really good uh, woodsy cabin feel to it. Got a good thickness on the panels. It looks like they're wood panels. So, next we will do a door. So I should have copied this and flipped it on the other side because then we, once we have all our pieces, we just need to basically make a roof piece after that. Don't know how long we're into this video yet. We might have to put it into a part two, but we'll go ahead and make one more piece for now. You know what we're going to do too? We're going to grab these and we're going to grab the window cell and we're going to control J. Make them one in case anything gets moved. They don't fall apart because it is going to be really hard to put them back together. Then we're going to grab the window cell and then grab the wall with shift left click. Now we have them both. We're going to control J. Now it is one. Right click to put it back. Alright, good work. Shift D to copy this. Wind it out a little bit. Gonna have to figure out the right angle. We'll try this one. Okay, let's do minus for it's on the other side. Perfect. Wind it out. Wind it out. And if you're making a game and you're having troubles making something specifically and you just don't have an idea of how you're going to make it, you can always send me a message um, on YouTube, message in the comments, and I will definitely get back to you. I'm just new to YouTube. I basically started to help make my game a little more popular that we've made. I uh, figured I'd do a couple walkthroughs and I really enjoyed it and then I thought maybe I would try to do some blender to see if I could help other people. So here we are now. Alright, so we will do our door on this side and yeah, let's do a door. So basically since this wall is going to be the same you can just copy it, paste it if you want one facing that way, if you want um, a cutout for each piece. So, because it's it's literally it's the same, we just need to make sure it's in the right place, basically. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll put a doorway in this one for you guys. All right, let's drag it up just through to the base of the floor because we don't want to have too much gap under the door. And we're gonna have to do a bit of moving around, guys. So we'll shrink it. It's in between the beams if we can. There we go. Move it up. Don't end in the middle of a beam, whatever you do. So it's going to cause a lot of issues. So we're going to shrink it and end it in the middle of the second beam. If you end it in the if you end it in the middle of the hole, it's just going to cause a lot of issues for your door frame if you're trying to put a door frame on or something like that. Here we are going to end it into the top of the top one. That seems like a good spot. It looks like it's close to the bottom. Looks like it's right. So we're going to shift D to copy it because we needed one piece that's the same. It's going to be our new door. Bear with me, folks. Grab this piece. <sighs> Grab this piece. And we're going to pull. If I sound a little tired, I'm sorry. Hit difference. I have literally made, uh, I don't know how many videos today, but too many, and I'm a little worn out. It's one thing to make all this stuff in the blender, and it's another thing to explain it all. So we have that shaped out. So if you do appreciate what I've done, or if you're getting any help from this, I would appreciate likes, thumbs up, and subscribe. If people keep enjoying and commenting and 
liking it, subscribing, I will keep making more. Especially if you give me ideas. What you want to see. What you guys need. <coughs> Alright. So we'll get the door in there correctly. It is, seems like it's just about the same on either side. And we will... How should we do this? Let's, let's copy the door. Shift D it. Make it thicker because we're going to punch through the door with it. Shrink it. Shrink it. Shrink it. Window shape. Okay. I am going to do a few different doors and then we're going to end this video. Because I'm pretty tired. I'll take a little break and I'll see about doing a part two today. Just let me explain this, how we're going to do this. Alright. We have a few different choices of how we can put the windows in. One, which most windows are on, a, on a, a door. There's one window. It's maybe located just a little bit lower. And the purpose is, is that you can look through your, your window before you open it to make sure you want to let that person in or you want to open your door to that person. I'd say it's about there, maybe a bit up here. But we can also just make this door a little more fancy if you guys want, depending on what you're doing. So if this is your cabin door, you're going to take this and you're going to pull it out of here. You don't want to do what I'm about to do. If you want it to be more fancy, or maybe you want two versions, pull the first one, wait, copy the door, move it to the side over here, pull out your piece, Let's do it together. You know what? Let's do it together. And then we'll end this video. I'm going to take this piece. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to drag it out because we're going to make two doors for this cabin. Okay. That's our basic door. We're going to go up here. Oops. Wait. 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 We're going to need a few of these. So let's drag one there. And let's shift D it again and drag one there. So we've got two extra of those in the door do one more actually okay we're gonna pull difference it looks like we didn't make it through so let's undo that and luckily we have an undo we're just gonna bump it a little grab just the window piece and bump it just a little farther I'm gonna make sure we punch through there we are we're through now grab the door objective pool tool difference and again, you see I make mistakes all the time. This is fine to do these things. Try to think things ahead. If you make a mistake, learn from it and do it better next time. But don't let this defeat you. Alright, let's push this in here. Let's set it in a little bit. Uh, it is in a little bit. Let's go a little farther. We can see on the other side it's not very even. So we're going to do... Maybe go back here... Oh, that's pretty even. And we will wipe out the interface because we are only doing single pane windows. You can do double pane, but you'll have to make both faces translucent. And we're going to have to look at that during coloring. But uh, it's going to have to be a must. You're going to have to add an extra color to these to make sure you can see through them. So we'll grab it, we'll go to edit mode, we'll grab one face, we will delete the face. Okay. Alright, I'm going to flip out, grab the window, attach it to the door. Control J. We are one piece with the door. Now, we're going to shift A. We are going to grab a cylinder. We are going to spin it on a 90 if we could find the right one. That's the right one. S, scale it down. Use this scaler to scale it this way. And we can punch it through the door. Try to keep it in the middle ish because we're going to do some more shrinking. Move it up. Handle's usually a little higher. Shrink it down. Alright, punch it through for it's nice and even. That's about right. And we'll go up here. And we will flip.
flip to edit mode. We are on faces already, so we'll grab it by the face. Hit E. We're going to go just a little bit, and we're going to hit S. Drag it out. Hit E a little bit. Hit S. And we're going to drag it back in. I'm going to hit E a little bit, and we're going to drag it back in. We've made a little handle. That's probably not what I want. Let's go back a little bit. I think we can do better than that. Okay, here. We'll go here. Hit E again. Let's go out again. One more. Like this. Then E. And out one more time. Okay, now we got a... Hmm bigger looking handle. Yeah, I'd say so. It looks more like a handle. So we're going to E to go out one more time and then S. And we're going to shrink it right down like that. And I think that's a little more appropriate. So now we're going to shrink it down. And we could have just tried to do the same thing on the other side, but it would have been really hard to try to match it. So let's just shrink this down a little bit, and we will duplicate and flip it. Alright. It's pretty much a door handle now, I'd say. Shift D. And 180 here. No. Zero put it back 180 there we go and we have a door handle we could try to meet them a little bit more in the middle there we go so I'm gonna grab either side shift D them because we're gonna make a second door and that's fine we'll just do that for now Grab that one, grab that one, grab your door, control J. Okay, we have our door, and it's pretty nice. You can bevel some edges or do whatever you want, but that's going to be a basic cabin door. It's going to make, make it look very basic and like you uh, are living in the woods or you had to make it makeshift, and I think that's probably what your game is going to be looking for. We're going to punch that just into there, make sure it's through on both sides. Grab this one, shift D, shift it down a little. Shift D, shift it down a little bit. Try to set out a pattern in your door that you can see and you like. So what I'm doing is just trying to center these to each other. So now we're going to shift D this one. And we're going to shift D this one. We're going to try to place it around those. This one's out of place a bit. Alright, grab this one, this one, this one, this one. Grab your door and go up to your jet object, bool tool, and difference. As you can see, we got a much fancier door now. Three, hole, three holes in it that we're going to... put glass into and make them look nice. So we'll just use these and since we're moving just side to side it should be fine to do them all at the same time. You just can't do up and down. And since we decided on one-sided panels I'm just going to erase these back panels. This part's completely up to you. Highlight all three. Click off. Grab one, two, three faces. Delete face. One-sided windows. I just need to make that one translucent. We'll take our door handle, or we'll take our door actually, and we will connect all these to our door by control J. We will walk our door into place of where we want it, looking at the cabin to help us decide what we want. Mop one handle in there. I have to move it over a bit, actually. 
Let's move this one in. And then we'll move them over together. No, nope, we won't. <laughs> move this one over. Because they're in reverse, because I change their axes when I go to move them, at the same time they move in different directions because they're following their axes. So you're going to have to guess at about what's even on either side. This one looks like it's punched in pretty far. When you're happy, grab both of them, grab your door, control J. All right, we've made our next cabin door. And it's looking like we're gonna have to be doing our coloring in the next video, guys. Sorry, I was just getting a little long on this one. I'm stretched pretty out. I need to take a little break. And we'll be back soon to finish part two, I suppose, of, I don't know what this is called, um, house pieces, custom house pieces, I don't know, uh, house building pieces we'll see you'll see in the title oh thanks guys thanks for watching oh yes uh like subscribe uh thumbs up and check out my website where oh, my channel you should see a link to my game if you'd like to buy it on steam and show your support thanks guys